After the game, though, Brendan Rodgers, he went on, on record as saying Celtic need match winners, they need quality. Um, do you think you'll get it in the final days, Mick? I mean, I know that the Bronby striker is the, um, I think I'm saying this right, Matthias Kvistgarden has been linked in record sport in the last couple of days. He's got eight goals and 45 appearances for Bronby, four and nine for Denmark under 21s. I mean, is he the kind of quality Celtic will or need to yeah, it certainly fits the profile, but this is what we'll keep hearing about the profile and the model and all that kind of stuff. And um, at, at some point, certainly need to get some some proven ability in the building. I mean, I think I, they've got plenty, had plenty of quality on the pitch at the weekend. I mean, for all for all they're, they're missing a few, they've still got Kyogo, Meda, Abada, um, O'Reilly. These are guys that are, are proven that they can create and score goals. And Axel Baranovich, who maybe needs to step up a wee bit. Um, get these guys that are, I mean, Yang has looked apart in his, his, his appearances so far. So they've got guys that, that can create and have got quality. Um, I just think Celtic, I don't think many people would have thought that the side would be like this at this stage in the window with, with a week to go. Um, I think the talk in the summer was all about taking the side to the next level, competing in Europe, making a fist of the Champions League. Um, Strengthening from a position of strength, uh, all this kind of stuff. Has that happened? I think arguably no. I mean, I think Celtic are probably in a weaker position now than they were in January when they lost um, Yakimakis and, and Juranovic. Um, and I know they've got injuries, and that's listen, I think that is a huge factor. I mean, you take out guys like Carter Vickers, Hatati, and Johnson at a team, that's a big loss for any side. But in general, you look at the recruitment's made a lot of a lot of guys with potential, a lot of project players who might be superstars in the making, but they might not be. Um, I think Celtic fans thought there'd be some some heavy investment this summer to kind of really capitalise on their position and kick on. And I don't think it's happened yet. And there's now a week to go. And I take the point that, that listen, th- these kind of signings tend to be late in the window. And it's happened to Celtic in the past as well. We enjoyed Jota and Carter Vickers arrived late in the window. Matt O'Reilly arrived late in January. Um, historically, the, the bigger signings arrive late because there's usually a scramble with other clubs to, to get them as well. So you do have to be patient. And there's a sense that they've been kind of hanging on a wee bit through this window until they got reinforcements. But now a week to go. I mean, all right, they've, they've signed Lagabico and, and uh, Nurovsky, who, who look like, like, like good players. Again, prospects as well, like young guys. Um, at some point, they need to kind of step up and bring in some, some heavy hitters. They still look a bit lightweight, I think, in the team in general, in terms of physicality, um, and they could do some other options. So, yeah, uh, it's time to really step up and, and put the foot down. But they've, they've already seen the, the treble has gone now, so it's too late for that. Uh, Europe is fast approaching. They're only I mean, a, a month away from, from the Champions League. Um, and at this point in time, that Champions League is looking a bit ominous. And before then, they've got to go to Ibrox on September the 3rd. And that's looking ominous when you look at the injury list. Mm-hmm. Um that's that's no environment for for projects and plans and and and, and guys that suit the model. The model is winning games of football, so they they really need to get get an act together and get a move on and and get in some 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 proper signings. I think now. Mm-hmm.